Hey guys, it's Delicia here at the Cigar Vixen channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so I have a really neat little cigar tool that has been added to my collection. And um, I wanted to share it with you guys. So really quick, it's called the Humidity Meter. And it's by Cigar Medics. You may or may not have seen it floating around there on social media or different websites. But it's pretty cool. So there's obviously a way to measure the humidity and temperature in your humidor, in a walk-in humidor, things like that. But there's not really a way that I'm aware of other than this one that I've seen to check the actual humidity in your cigar, whether it's right before you smoke it, whether it's if you received a shipment maybe in the mail and you're you know, wondering if you should let it sit or what is needed to get it acclimated, all that stuff. So really cool. So I'm going to just show you how it works. So the lid comes off, you have these two prongs here, you turn it on and you see the screen and then it gives you a little uh, kind of a, um, what is it, like a little reference gauge. So it tells you that your relative humidity, if it's below 60 percent, then it says evaporation of natural oils, cracking or breaking of outer wrapper, fast burn, bitter taste. Yes. Um, anything between 60 to 70 percent relative humid humidity, slow even burn and smoke, smooth even draw, optimal flavor and taste. Anything over 70 percent, difficult to draw, smoke, uneven burning or tunneling, increased probability of mold. So kind of a cool little gauge there. I pulled two cigars from my humidor. It does go off automatically if you sit and talk too much. <laughs> so you basically just stab it into the foot of your cigar and you let it sit for a couple seconds or so. And so this one is telling me that it's at a 64%. So again, this just came from my humidor. This cigar has been in there for probably a little while. So it's telling me, yeah, 64% humidity, which is right in the midway gauge of the little chart there. And then I have this other one, just to check, because that one was not in cellophane. This one is in cellophane, so just for fun, let's just check it out. And the nice thing, of course, is it doesn't damage the cigar because you're just going into the open foot, in case you're wondering. So put that in there, give it a second or two. And this one's actually at 67%, so nice probably because it was in the cellophane i did have them on different trays in my larger humidor so that could also affect you know how much humidity is getting there maybe one of the trays is getting a little bit more than the other but again just kind of a a nice way to gauge you know your humidity levels on the cigars so you can double check you can also do it again when you get something in the mail because i also just received oddly enough a pack of cigars in the mail that came in their own little humidified bag which is great and i'm just curious as to like what's the level of humidity in these guys because they've been shipped for i'd say at least like two days in that process and then i want to check that humidity because they've been in a little baggie So these are showing 60, well, it's moving. So these are showing 65% humidity. So nice. That's kind of a cool little gauge. Um, it's a fun little tool. Again, it's nice. It's not something that, you know, some people maybe wouldn't think that there's a need for it, but it's actually really nice if you're really curious as to what the humidity level is on the cigars that you're smoking because it does change the smoking experience. So humidity, temperature, all those fun things affect, you know, the cigar experience overall. Similar to brewing a cup of coffee, you know, the temperature of the water, the size of the grind, the way that you brew it, all of those things are going to affect how your coffee tastes. Same thing with your cigar. If you have it you know, if it's dry and doesn't have enough humidity, it's not going to burn properly. It does give that more of a kind of a bitter taste versus the opposite end. If it's too humidified, 
um, it's not going to stay lit for one, and it's going to change that whole overall experience. That's when you start to get some of the tunneling, um, things like that. So yeah, just a really cool tool. I thought it was pretty neat. Um, very creative. The only downside I would say that I've seen with this particular tool is that unless they make different sizes, um, it's not good for Lanceros. It's too big. So I have like a whole drawer of Lanceros that I can't check. I tried to put just one prong and it doesn't work. You have to use both prongs. So that was the only like downside. If you only smoke Lanceros, then this would be of no use to you. However, the majority of us smoke a variety of sizes. And so you'll be able to check the humidity on other sticks. And again, unless there's a different size, which I haven't checked, I, as far as I know, it's just the one size here, but um, yeah cool little tool. Check it out at cigarmedics.com. Thanks.